fastest desk, and that got me thinking, what's the world's fastest couch? The world's fastest shopping cart? The world's fastest toilet? Today we're gonna look at the fastest things that should not have engines in them and find out why these absolute maniacs built these things in the first place. And at the end, we're gonna see how fast this desk can go. I'm James, he's Noel Miller. Welcome to Donut. Noel, thank you for being here. We started talking about this desk during the pandemic. We did. And it's finally here, and I've heard it's fast as shit. I can't wait to drive it. All right, so we're gonna watch a bunch of videos of things that have engines in them that probably shouldn't have engines in them, and we're gonna decide if it's cool or if it was a big waste of time. And every journey of a thousand miles starts with the first clip. Uh, yeah, dude, this is not cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this looks like you work in like a tech company. There's like a dude cruising around the office in this. I still think he has kind of a jewel in there. It's powered by EDF motors. Oh, so it's not Jex. It's electric ducted fans. So they got up to 22 miles an hour. That's not even the fastest stupid thing in this video, obvi. We got a lot more <laughs> stupid fast things coming up. In fact, we're sitting in one of them. Noel, this is a desk. It is. But it's got racing seats. What's the deal? It's got racing seats, a live differential, custom independent rear suspension. We'll definitely get past 20 miles an hour. Maybe we'll get up to 25. Now I've got a show called Hot Laps where he drives this thing and interviews people. One of those people is me and you can check out that video in the description and at the end of this one. We'll test this thing in a second, but for now, let's move on with this list. This is a cool looking truck, right? But under the hood, you'll find all kinds of issues. And if it's an issue you can't fix, you wouldn't just ignore it and hope it goes away, right? you'd find a trusted professional to help you fix it. Why not do the same thing for your mind with today's sponsor, BetterHelp? BetterHelp has a network of over 30,000 therapists for you to choose from. And BetterHelp lets you have sessions over the telephone, on video chat, or even through messaging, whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire where you answer questions about the challenges you are facing, and then BetterHelp matches you with a therapist that could help. And if your therapist isn't the right fit for you, BetterHelp lets you switch with a click. No awkward breakup needed and with no extra costs. Head over to betterhelp.com slash donut to get 10% off your first month of therapy. Join over 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Next up is something that you shouldn't associate with driving, a bar stool. Bro, this is a lie. Yeah, this isn't a bar stool. This, this is, is a, a motor. fake out. I feel like the rule should be if you're gonna put an engine in a thing and claim like, oh, I have a motor powered bar stool. It needs to be in. Self-contained. Yeah, it'd be really sick if it was like all wood and it just had side skirts and it's some like insane engine contained in it. Dude, you're like in the scene now. Yeah. Like <laughs> every time you see one of these, you're like <laughs> beautiful <laughs> mining. Like, you know what he should have done? <laughs> this is called the Hossfly V8 bar stool. This company's takes Chevy small and big block V8s and attaches them to bar stool chassis. The biggest one you can order is a 606 cubic inch big block that makes 727 horsepower. Okay, you know what? This thing's sick. Yeah. <laughs> this is about as cool as it gets, dude. This thing rules. And another motorized bar stool news. An Ohio man crashed his homemade motorized bar stool after trying to do a U-turn too fast. I've done that. <laughs> he got a DUI, which I haven't done, after telling the cops that he had 15 beers. I had a friend here wrecked a bar stool. Had to pay with his head. Okay. But he fell just from the bar stool? Um, no. Well, he's riding the bar stool. To keep the theme going, next up we got the world's fastest beer crate go kart made by Manny Perez from the Philippines, aka Boss Manny. What is a beer cart? Is that the engine or the soundtrack? My friend usually called me Manny Perez and my colleague, uh, also call me boss man. <laughs> this is a documentary. This might be my uncle. <laughs> yeah. Try at my background, my boss man, that's my trademark. Dude, this guy's level of confidence is uncharted. And so he's made like a makeshift hover around. Yeah, hover around, yeah. So Manny Boss Man was inspired by beer crate go-karts he saw in videos from Germany and Australia, but he wanted to make the fastest one. 
So he's a 100cc four-stroke engine out of a Yamaha YD100, and he says it can go up to 31 miles per hour. He's faster than the office chair. Yeah. It's way more dangerous. Yeah. Fat tires, got dirt bike sound. I think it's super sick. Before we get to the next clip, uh, I think it's time for you to show me what this thing can do. Okay, let's get after it. I've been simultaneously looking forward to and dreading this moment for literal years at this point. What can you tell us about this desk? I can tell you that it's electric. It was a lot of work to get it to this point. When I took it around my first test, what I was noticing was when I would corner, it was doing the go-kart thing where it was lifting the inside wheel. And what that was doing was you could hear the John Deere mechanism like screaming. We had to get independent rear axles. We had to put a live differential in. So now we can corner for real and keep all four tires on the ground. The level of engineering in this thing is truly spectacular. This probably handles better than anything on our list. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've seen a bar stool, we've seen an office chair, but what is next? A skateboard. Uh, this guy, Bob Maddox, has a YouTube channel where he puts pulse jets on a bunch of little carts and stuff. Bob wanted to make the world's fastest powered skateboard, but instead of strapping an electric motor on his skateboard, Bob opted for something with a little bit more thrust. <laughs> Okay, just right off the bat. Finally, the first guy who looks like an inventor. Yeah. <laughs> it's a skateboard, but it's also like a motorcycle on a skateboard. Yeah, however, points for actually being an inventor. For sure. It has a suicide shift, and that is awesome. <laughs> I want Bob to make my casket. I don't ever want to hear about Jay Leno's turbine bike. This is the real turbine yeah, bike. This thing produces 40 pounds of thrust, and during an unofficial speed test, it clocked 50 miles per hour. Is this thing cool or was Bob wasting his time? A colossal waste of time. No, I'm joking. This yeah. thing rules, dude. I want to see the movie. Bob, if you're selling the rights to your story, hit us up. All right, next up is something you normally put food in. No, I'm not talking about the world's fastest mouth. Joey Chestnut, we're talking about you, man. I'm talking about the world's fastest motorized shopping cart, AKA the Shopper Chopper. Big toys need big trailers. Oh my God. Oh, what a sick way to kill your family. <laughs> <laughs> Shopper Chopper! Imagine your sister brings her boyfriend home for like Thanksgiving and he's like, what do you do? He's like, I drive people around cities in a giant shopping cart. All right, so the shopper chopper is 10 feet tall. It weighs 2,600 pounds. And in the state of Illinois, it is street legal. You can reach 80 miles per hour, which is kind of sick. That is sick. I'll give it yeah. that. But that's not even the fastest shopping cart on this list. That goes to a cart made by our friends at Grindhard Plum Co. You might know them from our video where we use a Wish.com supercharger on our Volkswagen Cabrio. I'll put a link to that in the description. Grindhard makes a ton of crazy stuff. They took a 900cc sport bike engine and transmission and slapped it in a custom-made shopping cart chassis. Spoiler alert, thing freaking rips! Shout out to Grindhard, dude. Yeah, this dude. is the real death card. You're like, look at my giant safe street legal shopping cart, and then the Grindhard boys pull up and they're like, do you want to die? Everything is custom made except for the engine. The engine produces 125 horsepower. Ethan got the cart up to around 70, uh, but he backed off and he says it's capable of going way faster than that. Do you think when he hit the 70 miles an hour, do you think Jesus just kind of poked, <laughs> poked through the clouds and he was like, hey buddy, <laughs> you coming up? It's cool, but I would you whip this? Absolutely not. I know they built it so that it's reinforced, but I just keep imagining the shopping cart just like. All right, so if you're going 80 miles per hour in a shopping cart that sits a quarter of an inch off the ground, the next place you'll probably have to go is the toilet. Noel said that he would only do the video if there was a toilet involved. Yeah. Oh, it's calling first. 
Isn't this more of like a bathroom on wheels? <laughs> yeah. I do appreciate that he pulled his pants down, yeah. but you don't poop with your underpants on. Come on, Colin. Commit. Colin first is a legend in the building stupid stuff world. You may know his E30 hot tub car. He made the world's longest motorcycle, but for this project, he went in a different direction. He took a 140cc motorcycle engine, welded together a custom chassis to hold a toilet. And part of the stipulation of being the world's fastest toilet was that it has to function as a toilet. So it does flush. It's almost like when you learn more about something, you learn to appreciate it. Yeah, it's almost like you shouldn't jump to conclusions and immediately call something lame until yeah. you hear the full story. The fact that this flushes is awesome. Yeah, for sure. He got the four-speed toilet car up to 53.2 miles per hour, but that record only lasted for a few years because in 2018, a team of high school kids took a motorcycle engine and strapped it to a prison toilet. And the kids got it up to 70.5 miles per hour, setting a new world record. So you may know the YouTube channel Bikes and Beards. They do crazy builds. Like this motorcycle made entirely out of Harbor Freight parts. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not even what we're talking about today because one of the more memorable builds they did was a jet ski motorcycle. And now this isn't a new idea. Danny Duncan did this. We actually bought it. Yes. off of Craigslist and then he hit us up and was like, hey, somebody stole that from me. Danny Duncan put a dinky little moped engine in his. Bikes and beards went for something a little bit more powerful. Oh God, is he getting pulled over? People love the jet ski bike. I don't like it. You don't? I don't really like it. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, man. I feel like this is less of a new vehicle yeah. and sort of like a costume for an existing vehicle. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, it's still kind of a motorcycle. Yeah. First, they used a 250cc Honda Helix, but they didn't think that that would be enough power, baby. Uh, they eventually went with a 600cc Honda Silverwing scooter. The guys got the jet ski up to 70 miles per hour on the highway. Still not selling me. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's comfortable. It's yeah. just, it's a motorcycle. <laughs> It's fine, dude. Skidoos are known for their agility. And speaking of, I think it's time we put this desk to the real test. We set up a cone slalom, and let's see how fast we can go through it. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go! There goes one. There goes two. <laughs> All right, that didn't feel like the greatest one. I feel like I could do better. Got some heat in the tires. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> we did it. Did it, dude. This thing rips. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's time to talk about one of the godfathers of things that shouldn't be cars, Ed China. The project that made him famous was a motorized sofa that he named the Casual Lofa, which is a very British name for a motorized sofa. Oh yeah. So this is kind of like the OG, real recognized real. Yeah. This is uh, made out of two subframes from Mini Coopers. It's got a 1300 cc four cylinder from a Mini that makes 65 horsepower. Throttle is a push lever controlled by the driver's knee. And then the steering wheel that is a pizza. He's a true pioneer in the field. Yeah. Ed got this thing up to 87 miles per hour and was awarded a Guinness World Record for it, which has since been broken by a couch that went 101 miles per hour. We're just getting crazy. How fast can they go? Don't worry. Someone tells me this isn't the last time we're gonna see Ed China on this list. I wish that I had the next vehicle on this list so that I could work 24 hours a day because I got that grind set mindset. I'm talking about the world's fastest office and if you're wondering who built it, it's our old friend, Ed China again. So this is the world record desk? Yeah. 
This truly was an inspiration for me. All right, once again, Ed used uh, mini Cooper subframes. Got a 1.4 liter four cylinder from a Rover Metro that makes 75 horsepower. Steering is controlled by the keyboard. I'd be really scared of my boys taking me home just with WASND. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This guy's the OG. Uh, he, he rules. He's the Carol Shelby of office furniture. Broke the record for world's fastest office, clocking in at 87 miles per hour. I think this thing is cool. Respect or respect yeah. is due. You gotta honor your elders. Yeah. All right, we finally made it to the last crazy thing that shouldn't have an engine in it. Oh, it's another Colin Furs creation. This time it's a bumper car, or as they call it in England, in the Queen's English, a Dodgem. I like it so far, self-contained. Self-contained, there's not a bunch of stuff hanging off of it. We got Sneaky Boy. We got, the got the Stig? I think sounds sick. Sounds insane. 107! 107 miles per hour in a Dodgem? I'd be shitting it. Colin, bring that toilet car over here. <laughs> Look how fast that thing's going. It's a 600cc four cylinder engine from a sport bike. 100 horsepower. So then the Stig drove it on top gear to set the world record. 100.3 miles per hour. So what do we think about this? I like it. We're talking about a type of casket. Bury me in a dojum. And that brings us to this thing that we're sitting in. It is time to set the world record for world's fastest talk show desk. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Zero to 53 in 9.69 seconds. Okay, yeah. Record. Yeah. Workwear. Clothes that you wear while you work. Super excited to announce that Donut has made its own line of workwear. I'm talking jackets, fully custom accents, heavy duty canvas, bespoke donut buttons, chenille patchwork, chain stitching. Are you kidding me? These things are 100% ready for working on your car or making you look good when you're doing something else. We've been working on this stuff for months. I've personally been very involved. I flew to Seattle to feel fabrics. It looks really cool and it's like the perfect level of elevated. This stuff is now available at donutmedia.com or check it out at Zoomies, but hurry because I hear it's selling out super fast. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go wear these clothes to do some work. You should try it on for a change. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut. Make sure that you check out Noel's show, Hot Laps. Here's a link right here. I'm on this episode. Thanks for all your support over the years. This is really actually a very cool job. Thank you. I love you. Wow. You want me to go through? Damn it. <laughs> Hard brakes.